The Indonesian government recently announced plans to implement a historic dual citizenship policy aimed at attracting former Indonesian citizens and foreign descendants of Indonesians to return to their homeland and addressing the drain of domestic technical talent. This policy shift marks a significant change in Indonesia's approach to overseas talent. According to Indonesian Coordinating Minister for Maritime Affairs and Investment Luhut, revealed at a recent Microsoft event, the government is considering granting former Indonesian citizens abroad the opportunity to reclaim their nationality. This policy is intended to facilitate the return of Indonesians with specialized skills to the country, thereby contributing to Indonesia's economic development and social progress. Indonesia has traditionally adhered to a strict single nationality policy. The legislation enacted in 2006 explicitly states that Indonesian citizens who acquire another nationality automatically forfeit their Indonesian citizenship. Over the past decade, this policy has led many Indonesian expatriates to lose their sense of connection to their homeland and their legal status in other countries. It is noteworthy that Indonesia faced political turmoil in 2016 due to the issue of dual citizenship. At that time, Energy and Mineral Resources Minister Arkander Tahar was dismissed by President Joko Widodo after it was revealed that he held American citizenship as well. This incident not only underscores Indonesia's strict stance on dual nationality, but also reflects the government's emphasis on national security and loyalty. However, with the deepening of globalization and the intensifying competition for talent, the Indonesian government has gradually realized that a single nationality policy may no longer suffice to meet the country's demand for overseas talent. Consequently, the government has begun to contemplate easing restrictions on dual citizenship to attract more overseas talent back to Indonesia. Minister Lohut mentioned that the government is in the process of formulating specific policy details and implementation plans to ensure the smooth execution of the dual citizenship policy. He emphasized that this policy will not only apply to former Indonesian citizens, but also include foreign descendants of Indonesians, many of whom possess valuable overseas experience and professional skills that can significantly contribute to Indonesia's development. The Indonesian government's decision has garnered considerable attention both domestically and internationally, sparking anticipation among overseas Indonesians and foreign descendants. Many of them welcome this move and eagerly await the opportunity to reclaim Indonesian citizenship as soon as possible. Tune in every Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. for Qingqiao View, The Business Bridge.